Changes are being made to the way the SICA Commission doles out funds. The group recently met to make their first round of recommendations for this year's fund. The big change this year is that the Commission will not be covering the full cost of city services required for events, which includes things like police, security, garbage collection, and EMTs. Traditionally, SICA has covered the entirety of these costs, but with more applicants and less available funds, the Commission decided it would be better to fund more events, but at a lower level. The city service request portion of what we had would have been 70% of our allocatable funds. Um, and there are so many deserving uh, events uh, that support a diverse set of our community uh, that we wanted to allocate money to those events and less toward the city service aspect. A few events that will be affected as a result include Ribfest, The Last Fling, and Chris Kindle Market. The SICA Commission will meet again on October 21st when applicants will have the opportunity to request changes to the initial recommendations. SICA funds come from the 1% food and beverage tax here in town.